Can a $15 drill bit set be any good? Let's find out. This is the Warrior 29 piece Brad Point drill bit set from Harbor Freight. Yes, I know, Harbor Freight. I needed a 15 30 seconds inch bit for a project that I was working on. Happened to be at Harbor Freight, saw this set for $15 and figured how bad could it be? They're made for drilling through wood. They don't need to stay super sharp. They'll do the job. Well, we're in for a surprise. This is gonna be a very quick review. In fact, it's gonna be so quick that I'm not even gonna drill any holes and I'll explain why. The drill bits come in this nice case. You can flip it open to get through them. We have 29 pieces, which go from 1 16th of an inch to 1 half of an inch in 1 64th increments. There is a nice chart here to display the sizes in metric versus SAE. So that does come in handy. If you're not familiar with a Brad Point drill bit, that's okay. I'll give you a quick explanation. They're your standard twist bit, but they have a small sharp point called a brad in the center, which helps it stay true and acts kind of like a pilot hole as it's drilling through the wood. These types of bits are only made to be used with wood or other soft materials, such as some plastics. On a normal drill bit, you have a 118, 135 degree tip like this, where the center hits first, the edges hit last. On a brad point, the outside of the corners actually touch first, scoring the wood and giving you a nice clean hole. So it'd be very important to have this point go straight into the wood and not to oscillate back and forth, especially if we were using it in the drill press. When I put the one half inch bit into the drill press, I was convinced that my chuck was broke or the bit was in crooked. You have to see this. There is over one quarter inch of run out at the brad tip of the bit. And it wasn't just the one half inch. I tested a few more. The 31 64ths, the 15 30 second, the 7 16ths. After looking at them closely, I did determine that the actual spiral part of the drill bit itself is pretty straight. And the issue lies the shank that goes into the chuck. It is so bad on this half inch drill bit that you can visibly see it crooked. I specifically look for drill bits that don't have a quarter inch drive on them that fit into an impact driver or something like that because in my opinion, I feel there's more room for error in keeping the shaft straight versus one like this that theoretically would be ground down perfectly smooth on a lathe and it would remain straight all throughout. I don't know how this was so off. I don't know how this passed any inspection. This baffles me. So my super high tech way of showing you guys this is I'm going to roll them on a flat cast iron router table with the camera down at the level of the router table so you can see just how bad these are and exactly where the issue is. This is the one half inch bit, the 31 64th, the 15 30 seconds, and lastly, the 7 16th. Perhaps this was just a bad set. Obviously, it's well known that Harbor Freight sells cheap tools. Another way to demonstrate the poor quality is the missing etched label of the 2964th bit. It's simply not there. The bottom line is these are bad drill bits. I would not recommend them in any way whatsoever. Spend your money on something else. I did order a nicer set of fish Brad Point drill bits that will be coming later this week. And if they're nice, I'll do a video on those as well. And maybe a comparison between the two. But one last thing I want to point out is the runout of this was over a quarter inch on the drill press. That's unusable. The second that this hits the wood, oscillating back and forth, it's going to break the brad point right off the bit. It's going to destroy the piece of wood you're working on. It's baffling that this could be in a package and sold. It's dangerous. It's going to shift everything. It could catch things. That's it. Check out the next video of the nicer bits.